black pudding is one of the most polarizing ingredients out there. Those suspicious of its blood content, studs of fat and strong flavor won't touch it with a barge pole. However, others love a few tasty slices of it on their breakfast. We can sympathize with both sides of the debate. Black pudding became a talking point in early 2016 after website Muscle Foods claimed it ranks alongside kale, broccoli and spinach as a superfood. This slightly woolly term refers to an ingredient particularly rich in antioxidants, although there's no consensus or official definition from the health world the NHS gives its take on it here. We think the term superfood should be read with requisite caution and without scientific evidence to back up muscle foods claim, we're taking it with a proverbial pinch of salt. However, we think it's worth reconsidering black pudding as an ingredient, especially if you've not tried it before. Read on to learn the facts about black pudding, how to serve it and whether it indeed has nutritional kudos. What is black pudding? There's no escaping the fact that black pudding is made from animal blood. If that makes you squeamish, it's worth remembering that lots of processed meat is made from unorthodox parts of animals, although we understand that the dark color of black pudding makes it particularly foreboding. It was first made as a way to use up a plentiful byproduct, making it an economical and ethical choice in that respect. To make it, the blood usually from pigs is mixed with fat and oatmeal, before being packed into casing. The sausage is then served boiled fried or grilled and cut into rounds, or crumbled into small pieces. As well as traditional British black pudding, similar blood sausages are served across the world French boudin noir and Spanish morcilla being two well-known examples. Added seasonings and spices vary from producer to producer. If you really can't get over the blood factor, you can find vegetarian or vegan black pudding packed with plenty of oats or barley if you look hard enough. White pudding is very similar to black pudding, but doesn't contain blood, hence the pallid hue. If that tickles your pickle, white pudding from Ireland or Scotland is particularly delicious. Is black pudding good for you? While black pudding has some positive nutritional traits, it's not something we should be eating in abundance. Over to dietitian, black pudding does have some benefits. It's high in protein, which can keep you feeling fuller for longer. It can also be rich in zinc and iron as it contains blood. The iron levels will vary depending on the manufacturer, so you're not always the guaranteed to get high levels. On the flip side, it's rather high in calories with 305 kilocalories and 22 grams fat of which 8.5 grams is saturated per 100 grams. It also contains 3 grams of salt per 100 grams which significantly contributes to the recommendations of less than 6 grams a day. An average portion of black pudding is approximately 75 grams. In essence, I would say black pudding is okay to have occasionally. Baking rather than frying it would be the healthier option. We all need to be a little careful of the word superfood as it's quite a dubious term it doesn't actually mean foods are healthy. Using it in line with fruit and vegetables will heighten awareness, so that's beneficial. However, I would be careful using it in conjunction with black pudding. Serve it in mash. If you're not keen on tucking into thick slices of black pudding, run a small amount of crumbled black pudding through mashed potato. This indulgent Tom carriage recipe can be adapted if you don't feel like using quite so much black pudding.